Hi there, we're from 999 Corp of the NHS and we're here today to join the uh, Manchester week of uh, Take Manchester Back. We're on NHS Day, we think it's an important uh, issue because the NHS is the backbone of our country really. Without the public service we need and want, the whole society can fall apart. The NHS was made to be looking after our society, uh, universal, comprehensive, it's a brilliant scheme, brilliant setup, beautiful vision and they're destroying it rapidly through corporate privatisation. So we're here to try and raise those issues with the public. What do you think about the Conservatives coming to Manchester this week for their conference? They're not welcome and if we can shut it down we will. I said over 24% of the country voted David Cameron and that is no way a majority. We don't agree with him and I'm staying here until he goes. I will speak to him. I challenged David Cameron to come and live with me for a week on ta working tax credits of £120. Come and live with me. Come and live with me in the most deprived area in Greater Manchester and we'll see how he gets on. He won't be eating Pringles, I'll tell you that. They obviously chose Manchester uh, for lots of reasons. I mean, they're, they're trying the whole Devo Mank uh, trick, which is basically saying that Manchester can be this big northern powerhouse and uh, they're boosting up their egos, but actually what they're doing is dumping a lot of debt and making them huge trickery uh, around the, the idea of being a devolved power, which isn't devolved. What I mean by devolved isn't what they mean. Um, and I think they've chosen well because they want uh, that northern powerhouse as an idea to succeed. So they obviously chose it for a reason and I suppose they knew it would be a little bit insulting to the people of Manchester. I'm very, very concerned to read about and learn about all the privatisation that's going on that the public is mainly unaware of and that the dreadful announcement this weekend about the closure, downgrading of hospitals in Manchester. And I'm here today because I can't stand what the Tory government are doing to our health service. They're trying to destroy it and I'm not going to let them and we're going to organise until we stop the market, privatisation, the cuts and people get the health service they deserve. I have children with um, special needs and he's had heart surgery and um, we've got a huge debt to pay. We, we have a huge debt to these people that saved his life. Could you give us a couple of instances of what privatise what damage privatisation and cuts cause the NHS? Do you have any specific uh, can you give us any specific examples? Privatisation is a really, really expensive way of running the health service. So, for example, here in Manchester, the mental health beds in Withenshaw Hospital are PFI, Private Finance Initiative beds, and they cost four times as much as the NHS beds in North Manchester that are not PFI. The PFI beds in Central Manchester for mental health were so expensive, they built a special unit, and within three years, they closed that unit and moved people from purpose-built a hospital into an old hospital because PFI is so expensive. It is bleeding money out of the health service going to private fat cat institutions that's a bit like buying your house on a credit card. It's a ridiculous policy and it means that good taxes that we pay end up going into the health service, not for care, but into the back pockets of the big fat cats. Oh, and what can people do to help support this campaign? I think they have to look at their local areas. Is there a health service campaign? Is there a keep our NHS public? We need to go on the streets and we need to organise at work. We have trade unions that I think need to be more sort of robust in opposing the government that's trashing workers' lives. The 99% are being impoverished, people are dying because the health service isn't there for them in places. And I think we need to be organised at work, you need to join the union and you need to join the demonstrations against this government. 
There's a local, there's lots of local campaigns like Keep Our NHS Public in lots of towns and cities. There are also Save Our NHS where they're cutting particular things, where they're closing hospitals. So in Manchester, there's a campaign against the devolution that's going to downgrade six of our district general hospitals and ultimately close a thousand beds. So there will be local campaigns. Google Save Our Health Service with your city or town name and you'll find a campaign. Save our